My friends, welcome to the Federation of Planets, um, and we're going to be watching a battle quite uh, quite early on. I, I finished with this last episode, and I was really looking forward to uh, to a bit of a uh, a look at what would go on, but I don't think this is much of a fight, uh, since we are already destroying. They have no leader, this is the Orion Syndicate. This is in between this. I'm okay with them taking this, because we are going to integrate them no matter what. I didn't think that we would actually fight these guys. Now, if we lose ships here, dreams of a blue planet. This seems like the the end of the um, of one of those Star Wars ships. In in, and I'm very sorry for saying that because Trekkies and Star Wars fans. Oh my God, no. Um, let's see. The tension in the control room was Pelmer. The oh wow the. Flotiel of Tux was pulling the last segment of the mirrors into position and even the millimeter misalignment of the five kilometer wide complex would ruin a great assembly. Boone packs back and forth among a small chamber making a small indecision in the carpet. The controller gazed at him irritatingly. I have no clue what this is about, but this is a new age for Mars because I would ruin the entire, entire conversation with my English. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. So we have a bit of a fight going on there, which we will not fail. The light cruisers need to be replaced. And I'm actually considering replacing some of our smaller frigates as well I, I wouldn't mind getting a oh wow what's going on over here who the hell are you your privateers very weak privateers although you still have almost 5,000 and this this guy he's not afraid my scientist no he's not he's just like let's fly into the den why are they not hostile? Complete. Oh, they're bloody hostile. Complete. Construction complete. Oh, there we go. All of the stations are being done. That means we're going to be upgrading a lot of them. So, here we go. We've got another trade going on. There is little that interests me at the moment. Population growth speed. Yeah, we could take that, but um, why? Not sure. Anchoring. So, Naval Depot, Naval Depot, and more Naval Depots. Uh, trade Depot is going to be done here as well. We'll have to look at our own shipyards. Mm, Orbital Museum. And we'll take on the secure trade lines. And let's take a quick look. So, terraforming cost. Sensor range, naval capacity plus 100, which is actually important. Everyone's opinion increases by 20, which does do somewhat, but not as much. Though, for our type of series, it would not be too bad. Starbase influence cost, starbase hold points, grasp and avoid, which is more starbase, which is actually quite nice. Uh, space fortress, I don't care about that. Starbase, starbase building plus 1. No. Galactic Contender. We're not fighting fallen empires any moment soon. Research speed plus 10 would be incredibly nice. Monthly unity plus 15% could be very nice. Administrative cap. Well, we're well over that and I don't see it changing anything. Uh, edict duration is very nice. Integrating subjects. We're not doing that because we're not forcing them into subjugation. Um... I'm actually going for the research. And for the next one, I would say we're going for... Mm. It is either Harmony or Federation, maybe even Preservation. It doesn't really matter all that much. There's some tar blockers, some habitability and some crime. As for this, Administrative Cap for Embassy Buildings. Um, focus and member world across the galaxy. Interesting. It, this is interesting. Yeah, we'll go with Federation next one. 
It's fine. It will be fine. No need to be worried yet. We are still fighting. They're so sturdy. Wow. Didn't think my fleet would have this much of a problem against some of these smaller ships. Uh, new technology. Here we go. Armor hit points. And um, we'll go for the new trusters. We still have to do something about our food situation. Since it's not good. Fletchling colony. Let's go food. Yeah, how about you? You are food already. Like I said, we should uh, start pushing out some of these districts. We will we'll work our way downwards. Eventually, we'll have everything in place. You can still see the fight outlining under there. Um, I still say food. Yeah, definitely food. Upgrade you and get... Frontier Hospital. Goblin has been established. Quite nice. And we got some research done. Cultural Plaza. That is quite nice. But we'll go for the tar blockers at the moment. We are actually losing this fight, are we? Yes, we are. We are losing this fight. Can you see the disgrace? This, this is a disgrace. We need to redo our fleet. A lot. Yeah, they're full on. Look at that. They're even not doing lot, 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 a much on shield damage. Construction complete. Oh, man. What the hell? What the hell, man? Yeah, we lost against this anomaly. Can you imagine? Yeah, you can imagine. You just witnessed that. What a disgrace. That uh, just means we're definitely going to be flipping the fleet. Going to add the multi-ship. Going to add the uh, new class. We're going to get rid of those two. And I'm starting to feel that the frigate is no longer a viable option. Even though they, we lost only four of them. And they are fast. And my voice needs some liquid. Oh, a cold coffee will do. Hmm. If we push that up to four. Yeah, we're going over all of the ship designs, guys. Because um, what just happened should not have happened. And could be a potential disaster in the future. We're going to take a look on what is going wrong. Also, I don't think we can actually build a lot more of these Explorer class uh, vessels. Considering we... Well, actually, we are generating one Tyrellium D now. Very interesting. I like that. Oh, great. Liquor. Liquor in my throat. Because this is the fourth episode for me recording. I'm actually awaiting guys that will uh, do my flooring. And uh, that's done. And oh, man, we lost a bunch of ships. They did it as well. But still, it's a joke. It is a bloody joke. Okay, so... Um, a, a battle cruiser would just be. We do need a missile barrage boat. We're going to be replacing this one. This is going to be nice for pirate suppression. Let's see. You are still going to be my anti missile boat. This weapon I don't like. So go with photon torpedoes. That is okay. That is okay. I think this ship overall is okay. So anti-missiles. So the light cruiser. The explorer class is, by the looks of it, we are going into the Columbia class refit. Which is immediately destroying my power. Let's go with science. Let's get a fusion reactor. Um, tracking is nice. We have some more. Wait, a daily shield regen. Is there something else? Hmm. 
Not really. Anything for the tracking. Warp speed. Supply speed. Evasion. Why the option? Why this option? And why can I not find it right now? Where is it? It's no there, no, no, no longer there, right? Secondary computer core. I can't even find it. It's this one, tracking four. Why are you not using this one? Why are you using the very first one? Because of the power. This ship is having a massive power issue. That sucks. Get rid of you. Is there anything that we can add? I'm not sure. I would like to add this, but we'll have a even bigger neg negative on our energy. We could get rid of the shuttles. But it is one of their strengths, those strike crafts. So that's what my problem was um, with the other build. You'll have more weapons. Um, actually, that's three. It's still the same amount of weapons. So we'll just keep the NX class. Since... Since... Since it doesn't do a freaking thing. Uh, you know what, let's just keep it like this. So you are a beam weapon candidate, I guess. And the multi is medium. At the moment, we are lacking a torpedo barrage ship. We have some torpedoes, but we are definitely lacking torpedoes. Since torpedoes is going for the damage... Look, this is all about shields. It's, it's about weakening em enemies. And this is about taking them out. So this multi-spectrum ship maybe should fit better as... Uh, can we get rid of that? No, we can't. Can we change you? Because it doesn't do us anything. Uh a lot of regen options maybe just use utility over here we could do oh my god look at this oh wow no that will do better <clears throat> if you have ship designs that would be more suitable for our situation uh, do let me know mm, i don't like this hardening field at all i do like the shield generation and we'll get one fusion reactor in there and i'm actually considering just doing one more shield generation since we do have the uh, that's not shield generation. This is shield generation. Now we have more than 2,000 shields. It's, it's a big plus though. Yeah. So we'll just go in there. And we could actually go with some shield regen. Like that. I think this would work. So the Poseidon class now is a heavy hitter. And we're going to get rid of all of the smaller ships. And we're going to uh, redo the fleet. I don't think we'll be in a war anytime soon. We are still quite quite powerful. Even though it does not appear to be so. Let's review. And we're on 33%. We're not near any of the medium or... So let's go with a low. We do need to do a low intensity. Rivalry. Nice, I guess. Fleet is still on its way. Complete. 
It's a good thing that we didn't have to participate in this, but this is a joke. Uh, we have a warlike skill trait. Interesting. The Imperial Inquisitor is, is definitely starting to be extremely strong. I like that. So, the gem. Um, actually, let's go with a hospital. Let's go with a trade depot. Um, yeah, this is not interesting. You are still building up. Do we have anything that we want to have on here? Not really. Orbital Hospital. If we can, we'll, uh, we'll do it. We might have to flip. And David Wallace died. Damn. No. Damn you, David. What did you die, man? Orbital Hospital. Let's take a Orbital Hospital. Let's get that population growth out there. How is this going? 4,000. We currently have... 1.4. Yeah. So, a scientist has died. We need another one. Is anyone not busy? They're all busy. Yeah, getting particles would be quite nice. Automatic exploration. Go, 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 go. Is the fleet back? Not yet. Let's see. This is still not really building up. And we can actually boost this quite a bit more. And so I'd say let's go up to 25. And 40. What if I gave you this? Oh wow, look at that. They just consume it like crazy. Construction complete. They really like this uh, capital injection. A lot more on the financial than on the mineral side, though. So, it is energy that they prefer. So, they are doing tile blockers by the looks of it, then. No, they are... Yes, they... Look at this. They are upgrading all of that. That is quite nice. I like that. Let's keep that up. We'll see where the AI will bring us to Bortley Go, where no one has gone before. Just like my... Fleet capacity, that is uh, the lowest it has been for a long ass time. Okay, before you go do anything dumb. <sighs> These are going to be the ships. Technology We're going to get rid of those. Let's do it like this. 144. Can we do this? A 466. It will be strong though. I'm hoping. And we need more than 7,000. It's 16 or 17 ships. Well, luckily we do still make 44 though. So let's see. Uh, what did we get? We got the delivered phases. Let us go with the backup warp coil. We don't have to participate in the war. I might want to flip these back to a position where they actually do boost a colony. Like in the Vega system. Would it make more sense, right? And for the station I made over here would have been more sense on the Gamma Drovian or whatever it's called. Because we can boost so many colonies and I'm not doing so. So perhaps that would have been a bad move. To keep boosting everything that we can do. It's just boosting. While we're helping out our own planets. The uh, the mineral count is going low. So we got Terol. Who the hell is Terol? Wow. What a crap episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, seriously, um, we lost the fight. In my mind, we should not have lost. And we did. And we now we have to do our fleets over again. And we're making us extremely vulnerable against the Cardassians. 
and everyone. Yeah, okay, these guys are inferior, and they are... Look at these guys, they're superior, they're my rivals, they could strike. Now that we have a lot of fleet power with our members, I would have liked it not to be this way. Then again, little I can do at the moment. We're just going to be building up. Like I said, we need to be aiming for a lot more alloy production. Alloys can save a economy. It always has been. And we get another integration quite soon. So yeah, a lot of things that we need to do still have to need to go. Specialist jobs. Construction complete. Jonathan Archer died. Oh God. Everyone dies. Uh, Mars, we need to do the funding. Let's pause here. Means the, f the uh, Enterprise is now without a captain. And this is the only one that I think is semi okay. Here we go, guys. So. Let me know in the comment section what to do about my ships, what to do about fleets, fleet compositions that worked for you while playing the Federation. Do we need to focus on one kind of ship? Do we want a special build with our fleets? Anything is possible and I'm quite anxiously awaiting um, your reply. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope to see you next time, have a good one, bye bye.